welcome to Taskela with Khao. My name is Moronga Khao Khalo Tsubakhale and I am your host today for Taskela with Khao. And we have a very special guest. Yeah, Mapaseka Dolo. Mapaseka, say hi to the camera. Hi, hi. Hi. This is very awkward, I must say. <laughs> it is it is very awkward, but I we will just, you know, just relax. Yeah, we are, yeah. We are just having a conversation. Conversation. All right. right. Let's get to it then. Yeah. So Das Gela with How is basically a new podcast series that I wanted to just start just to Basically, invite professionals, young, upcoming business owners. By a professional. <laughs> yes, upcoming and aspiring young professionals in various career fields, you know, people who are making it in the industry, in the industries. <laughs> and uh, if you, you, even if you're not making it, but if you have a story to tell, basically, ne? Nice. and we just want to understand, Hore, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in the health industry. I know you're in the health industry. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so before we get into knowing who you are, I want to read a bio. Your hey. bio that you sent me. <laughs> so our guest today, she is a young aspirant me- uh, mental health professional nurse that is working at a hospital in the city of Ekurileni with a Bachelor of Honours. I hope you guys are listening. <laughs> in nursing sciences <laughs> and has had a formidable academic and career journey. She's all for the emancipation of communities, in particular young people. She is an activist in mentoring undergraduate nursing students and overall youth in various activities that include academic and personal learning. She has multiple awards stemming from primary and secondary schooling. She really had to put that to me. Yeah, now she has awards. <laughs> and they extend to tertiary learning. That means university, for those of you who don't know. Mugel is a multimedia, uh, kind of award winning, aspiring mental health professional nurse. <laughs> she has a Bachelor of Honors in Nursing Science. I want you guys to understand. What, what is with the emphasis? emphasis I want you guys to understand. We are talking about real people, real stories, young professionals who are making it in the industry. And then right now we are talking about the health industry. <laughs> <laughs> so just to break the ice, ne? we're going to play a game. Okay. 14 questions. Right. And we want to find out if we have a real <laughs> or a fucker. <laughs> that means a faker <laughs> nurse in the building. Chai. <laughs> or aspiring mental health professional nurse. Right? So we have 14 questions that I'm going to ask you. And I want you to answer me. And whatever, I have the answers, ne? by the way. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, maybe some of the answers you won't say them exactly but now i'm not a nurse so i will go with what i see here on my phone and get okay so are you ready for the questions i don't have a choice (laughs) (laughs) okay first question what is the primary role of a nurse a to perform surgeries b to administer medications c to diagnose medical conditions D, to prescribe treatment plans. <laughs> you didn't hear all this. Can I choose between, because the, the, like, the answers are so similar. To similar. Other. So is it like, am I allowed to choose at least two answers? You have to give us one. <gasps> you, can, you can choose two, and I'll tell you if... C. You'll choose, you, you, I'll C. take C, yeah. Diagnose medical conditions. Oh, wait, B. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, are you sure up on your answer? <laughs> the answers are so similar to each other. Okay, what's your final answer? B. B. Yes. That's the correct answer. <laughs> so at least she's, you know. <laughs> Second question. What is the term for a nurse who specializes in caring for newborn infants? A neonatal nurse. Okay. We'll... we'll 
Uh, that one was easy, Mus. Ah, I, young Rob. What is the term for a nurse who provides care to patients in their homes? Home-based nurse. Okay, this one is similar answer because this one says community health health nurse. Okay. So, okay. Mara. <laughs> we ask Ropa, guys. Can you see? What is the first step in the nursing process? First step in the nursing process. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> Aspiring. What? Yes. That is that. No, I, I forgot. That is embarrassing. I'm thinking of the SOP. SOP is subjective data, objective data, assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. I'm thinking subjective data, but well, I'm not so sure. And you mentioned it. But is I, it? You, you said it. In so this, in this, in whatever opinion, you just said right there, now, I give had, me a clue there. I had what was subjective? Don't, 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 don't. Subjective, don. objective, assessment, assessment. Yes, <laughs> my sister. All this oh, for wow. one word. <laughs> you a whole abbreviation, a whole man, man. You paragraph. Forgive me, forgive me. I shame. It shows who are you Ah, no, ah, no. Well, knowledge, yeah, ah, you come know. On, don't do that. Okay, we're going to move international right okay. now. Okay, yeah? right. This one is just to test whether you are local or... Okay. You know? Okay. So what is the abbreviation of the professional organization that represents registered nurses in the United States? In the United States? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know. In the US. That's uh, why I said we need to make sure if nah, 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 nah. local or international. Uh, I'm a local nurse. You were a local nurse. Yeah, no, I don't know. I thought it was like an international. I'm thinking the ICN, International Council of Nurses. Oh, you mean like in general? Yeah, in general. Are the <laughs> nurses in the US? Hi, man. I'm not even thinking of going there anytime soon. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, so it says American Nurses Associ- Association. You knew it. Wow. That's, that was a... <laughs> a very simple answer. It's very simple and, and mm, embarrassing and, that I couldn't get it. You know, that's the problem with you <laughs> professionals. You <laughs> always think. You want to think. <laughs> for what? You are already... I'm sure you are already thinking wow. about your... It's the American union to, what? American Nurses Association. Yes. Wow. Man. ANA. I want to read about it so much. Oh, my sister. Okay. When you talk about reading, but it's fine. <laughs> So, which uh, nursing speciality focuses on mental health and psychiatric care? Psychiatric or mental health nursing. So, in South Africa, they've recently um, renamed it to mental health nursing. Mental health. And that's your profession. That's my profession currently. Why mental health, if I may ask? Um, so, the reason why the term psychiatry is, mm. is very stigmatized out there. So then they wanted to switch it to mental health so that not only is it destigmatized, but it also encompasses all, everything. Yeah, and we don't only dwell to just one group of people, but it generalizes for everyone. Or for everyone. Because truth be told, I'm now going out of topic a bit, everyone has a form of mental illness. It just takes a trigger <laughs> to activate it. But we'll, we'll discuss it Yeah, in a bit. we'll, yeah, no, don't <laughs> yeah. worry. That time will come. Yeah. So the seven question number seven: What which of the following is a common responsibility of a nurse in a supervisory role? A. Direct patient care. B. Prescribing medications. C. Administering vaccines. D. Overseeing a team of nurses. D. Overseeing a team of nurses. Can two food be le my sister? You won't call my lo. We won't call my textbooks. We are trying. We are our phone. Ah, we try. Mm. We try. Hey. Okay. Number eight. What is the term for the highest level of nursing education? The highest level. Highest level. Um, man, it can reach to PhD. It can? Yes, like professional nurses can go all the way to PhD. If they want, they can also be professors. So mm. they can go all the way to professorship. So is there something after PhD? Now I'm just asking. Yes, yes. So after PhD, you supervise uh, undergrad, postgrads, and then you also publish articles. Then mm. from there on, you become an associate professor, 
full professor after various publications as well. And there's even this other one that says Professor Emeritus. It's just really? a professor after. You can even hear by the terms <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. So the answer for this one says Master of Science in nursing. I it's it's incorrect. So it's incorrect. Have, yeah, it's, it's incorrect. You okay. can go all the way to PhD or even professor. Professor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So which nursing speciality focuses on the care of older adults? Geriatric nursing. I get it. Fundi lenamuz. What is the term for a registered nurse who has completed advanced education? and training in a specialized area of nursing? Education. Nurse educator. <laughs> Is okay. it not a nurse educator? Because it can be quite uh, versatile, hey? Mm. You can specialize in all the specialties because remember, for every specialist doctor, mm. there's a specialist nurse. And for every specialist nurse, there can be a nurse educator that can educate what's going on. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Sorry. It's a lot, my sister. It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. So here, Barry, I'm not sure if it's similar. Mm -hmm. Nurse practitioner. Okay. That's also fine. It's also yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. So the last question. Wow. So quick. Yeah. Was you didn't fun? even realize. Yeah, I was having fun. And you were stressing about the questions. <laughs> what is the term for a nurse who provides care to patients in the operating room? Perioperative nurse. Yeah. Or theater nurse. Yeah, yeah. either or. <laughs> Peri what? Peri operative nurse or theater nurse or scrub nurse. There's many terms there. They can be the floor nurse, they can be the circulating nurse, it can be the scrub nurse, can be peri operative. Uh, yeah, theater My nurse. Sister. There's a lot going on, man. There's you know, I last did in the life science guy 2019. And uh, the reason why I dropped out of nursing. <laughs> medicine, medicine is because of these terms. Just be simple. Stop complicating it my life. Scrubness. Scrubness. Okay, yes. la, it says surgical nurse. Okay. Conning the off. Conning the off. But Not make fine. sure. But it's fine. But it's Google. Ah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> okay, makes okay, sense. okay, okay. <laughs> so with these questions, yeah, we were, I'm sure you guys will decide, you know, if <laughs> she's a very real one or she's, you know, what happens in South Africa when you, you bribe <gasps> or maybe you, you, you were using CPR, oh. Krampus and Forget or no, CPF. The own, the own, yeah, yeah, yes. I know CPR, not CPF. Okay. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Uh, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> now I'm talking about Krampus and Forget. <laughs> Mara, she doesn't know that this, this one, this one, she's a very focused uh, academic so, Miguel, yes, you are here. I'm here, but the people don't know you. I've been saying Mapa Seca Dolo, I've been saying aspirant, kind young <coughs> mental health professional nurse, mm -hmm. but we all know who these things they start somewhere. Yeah, hey, they do. They do. Yeah, you are in high school, uh huh. You are collecting those awards, uh -huh. as you are saying. Uh huh. What are you thinking? I'm thinking medicine. <laughs> okay. That's your first interest. First option. Like first priority. You when you say medicine, you mean doctor yes. or you mean nursing? Medical doctor. Medical doctor. Yes, yes. MBCHB. Yes, MBCHB. And you are doing Kanaking grade 10. You choose the, subjects. the subjects. Yeah. So you knew from grade eight. I knew from as it is primary because primary. um I had quite an influence from my that side of the family. Mm. My aunt is a medical doctor. Hey. My other aunt is a pharmacist. Well, Lily. So I had... You had yeah, to. Yeah. And you I've did not always have. wanted to be a medical doctor. But funny enough, in 2011, my mom just randomly told me that, you know what? <sighs> Being a nurse would suit you. And I'm thinking, what is this lady saying? Like, me, a nurse. Mm. And now 12, 12, 11 years later, <laughs> I'm <aspiring>. exactly there. <laughs> I'm exactly So, right. okay... It's your passion. Yeah. Regardless of your family. Yeah. 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 You, you, I'm telling you, my mother was Kitty Cherry <laughs> and I hated it. Yeah. Well, now why medicine? Why medicine? Mm. You know this saying where um, 
I want to serve the community. You, mm. know? you want I to want, help. I want to give back to the community. So that was my initial reason why mm. I wanted to be, be a medical doctor or to be in the health uh, fraternity. But now as I'm in it, the main reason now I could say is to not only educate the people on how to keep themselves, but also to promote health, prevent illnesses, you know, also uh, advocate for creative measures for them. Mm. And with the type of career that, that I'm in now, especially mental health, it's, one of, the, yeah, yeah. it's one of the most uh, critical aspects in South Africa, which are unfortunately not looked into well. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of stigma surrounding it. And uh, one thing about mental health, yo, it's a problem because... Yes. Kimo, we hey, there's a lot of problems. It is. Hey, it is. It there's is. a lot of see, go over. Yeah. We are going every single yes. day. Yes. And yes. you are forced to wake up, focus, and sometimes you have to just pretend as if nothing is going on. Hey, yeah. see, I pretend a lot. Yeah, we pretend a lot. A we lot. can pretend, by the way. We can pretend. But it takes a certain element or a certain tolerance to something. Mm. Once a trigger comes. Then ah, that's where done. the it yeah. yeah it's done. Okay. So metric, ne? Okay, mm-hmm. before metric, you mentioned your father's side of yes. the family influence, yes. name. Yes. <coughs> and I want to understand something. How is the background, your family background, in terms of Batsoadi? Because in some areas we have um kind of thing, this pressure to be or expectation, hurry. You have to be this because yeah. of yeah. maybe my father is okay. Let me make an example with me. My mother was a she's an educator, mm-hmm. so I've always had this thing. Oh, Guti, I have to be an educator, or mm. you know, you you can. Why don't you do teaching yes, like your mom? Yeah, yeah. Did you have that because you said her very influence? So did it affect? Maybe do you think it affected very very you? You're thinking, Hore, this is what I'm exposed to. This is the only thing that I'm exposed to. And I have to do it. Or it was just a thing, Hore. You know what? I want to do medicine. Well, and family did influence, influence to a great extent mm. both sides of mm. the family. Um, you know, there are educated people out there, hey? Ne. So there was that pressure of, of, of upholding that standard. Mm. Because both parents are also in the education sector. Um, so you can imagine, as you said yourself, that your mom is an educator. So with me as well, <clears throat> having to uh, maintain that standard, you know, as, as mentioned earlier on, the awards from primary, secondary, institution mm. as well. So there was that pressure. You have Definitely. to make sure. Yeah, yeah, even with the siblings as well. Because now my sister also set a standard. So now I had to follow yes. that standard. So yeah, no, I did. I did definitely have a lot of pressure, even now. They you have still, a lot of pressure. I still do have a lot of pressure. Mm. Yeah. I can imagine. It's not nice out there. It's hey? not. It's not nice. That's why I I think you, what you're specializing in is very important. And thank you for actually recognizing something that is not really recognized and making sure hurry, it's recognized. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You had recognized. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so okay, you doing metric? Yeah, Lohana metric. There is a lot of pressure. I, what's the mindset? Ka metric. Mm-hmm. Even though you are in academic weapon, you are collecting awards, <laughs> but there must be something in your mind, Hori. Ish, what if? Yeah, I yeah. don't get what I'm expecting, Hori. How am I gonna? Okay, I'm applying to universities. Mm-hmm. What's your first choice? Sorry. I want medicine valley, obviously, but where do I want to do it? Do you have any of your favorite universities that you think, Corey? See this one. Are we allowed to mention them? <laughs> you you can just give us a, 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 maybe a color. Okay. Okay. Because we know orange university, yeah, yeah, blue yeah, university, yeah, yeah. Okay. or just maybe Hore or the area. Just a, a hint okay. if you don't if you want or if you want to mention them then 
you are you are welcome. I wanted to go to that university there in Bramfontein there. UJ. Not UJ. Oh, okay. That, that one. Ish. That town there. Ish. Yeah, that one. And what happened, um, Master? Ah, uh, you know, in grade 12, um, I did not have a, a smooth sailing there. Hey? How? Anjali. Yeah, now, now here's, here's where things now, get interesting. Eh? Eh? Because it is perceived that I'm an academic weapon and I am not that. Okay. Because in metric, mm. I failed maths. I got 23% in June. You got? 23% in June. In June. In June. And that is a very okay. critical yes. uh, point, point. For, for grade 12. Mm. So then it obviously affected my overall maths mark because at the end of the year, I got 40 if not 43 percent but that's improvement though it is improvement but, but it's not it is not enough because remember mm. with medicine it's high competition people getting there with distinctions what's a mere 40 going to do Eesh. so i got declined everywhere Yo. and i had to upgrade maths in 2017 Yo. yeah i had to upgrade my maths marks Firstly, I started by supplementing. I was forced to supplement by my dad. I remember having parents yes, who educators. are educators. Yeah. When I was forced to supplement, I supplemented, got 52. Mm. And then upgraded for the rest of the year. But I still applied again. Mm. Uh, this time I did not have um, a stereotype as to saying, now I want medicine. I okay. Just like saying, if I could Whichever just see myself one. in any health-related career or, or uh, course, it doesn't matter. It doesn't so matter. Mm. During that period, I applied everywhere for mm. anything that doesn't help. And at the end of the year, I got 57. I wished for a 60, though, but it's better than a 23%. Okay. Yeah. You got a 57%. Yes. What's the requirements for medicine? getting into medicine then? Now it's distinctions. Let me just put it out there. It's distinctions. It's distinctions throughout. And remember, even if you get distinctions, you might still not make yes, it. Yes, there's into. always going to be someone that is better than you. That is the reality. That's the unfortunate part. Unfortunately. Yo. And now, unfortunately, because there's so much competition in medicine, now there's competition in nursing. Yo. Because people are now saying, okay, if I couldn't get into medicine, let me go into nursing. So mm. now nursing is becoming very competitive now. Yo. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> okay. What are you thinking or how does this affect you now with regards to your mental health? Because remember, you have parents who are educators. They are probably they were probably expecting to see you there. Yes. Or, yes. or TV. Definitely. As Definitely. This is my child. Precisely. And she's been getting these awards mm -hmm. her throughout her school journey. But metric comes. And it now it's giddy 40 something. Giddy. Giddy Luana, you're not expecting yeah, it, I'm sure. Not, not at all. You know, let me say, I was in denial. Mm. I knew that I wasn't strong in math at the time, but I was in denial. Because I was, I was appearing in the top 10 either way throughout. Mm. So I was like, ah, man, it's nothing I can handle. Mm. But well, it showed me flames. So it definitely took a toll on me. Mm. So when I analyzed the state of mental health that I was at at the time, it did put great strain on me because, for example, I I lost a lot of weight during okay. the period. And one of the symptoms of mental illness or mental irregular challenges is weight loss. Weight loss yeah. yeah. Um, feeling inferior, you know, feeling like, you know what, maybe you're not cut out for this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it did have it Ish. did take a toll. As keys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can't say much because yeah, yeah. it happens, you it know. It happens. It's and life. It's life. Unfortunately, it will humble you. Yes. And unfortunately, you have to go through these things so True. that you can write a book about True. whatever you are embarking on, Definitely. right? Definitely. And then, okay, when then do you get into university? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So get into university in 2018. And then, no, I, I God played his ways there. Even now, I'm still shocked as to how I got into university because I was declined again Yo. for everything. Including, again. Including the, the same person that I qualified at a certain institution. Yeah. Okay, let's, <laughs> let me ask this. When you're applying, are you only applying for medicine or you have other 
choices I just to... I applied for other choices so that should I get declined for medicine, I they knew. accepted. But still, I got declined. For I everything. For everything. Oh, wow. So then at the institution I got uh, accepted at, mm. uh, radiography was my first option, nursing was my second option. So um, along the journey, along the way, I, I did what we call a walk-in. Then it was allowed, but now it's not allowed. Yeah, anymore. now it's not allowed, yeah. yeah. So we did a walk-in. Uh, we went to the radiography department. So the reason why <coughs> I was about to be declined there mm. was because I did not choose a, a clinical practice where we'll do my practica at. Mm. I was uh, going to be accepted, but because I did not have a clinical practice, I was about to be declined. Declined, and then? I was with my dad at the time. So then he asked if there can be a swap, if nursing can be first, first choice. Yeah. yeah. So then they were like, you can try go to the nursing department. So we walked in the nursing department. We found the cost coordinator there. Um, that man really, really gave me a chance, I must say. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I'd be here. Yo. Dr. Matlala. Uh, Dr. Matlala uh, took my results and then he analyzed them. And then he said, you know what, we'll get back to you. And two hours after we left the campus, Yo. that's when I was called to say that, you know what? Hallelujah. I am in. So I'm there, in. I, I, I still reiterate that it, can, it, it was never my, my um, mm. or, or it was just God's grace. Bra. It was just showing off there. And you not know, only that, I also got funding. Yo. So my parents did not have to worry about funding. I just got into university. Got and into you, do, you didn't apply for funding? I did not. It was just given to me like this. Hey, bo. On a silver plate. Like, yes, this is God hey, telling bo. you, Hori, Nancy, my sister. Here's nursing for you. After all the troubles. After all the troubles. So me screaming for medicine, medicine. Nah, Next. Man. Nah. And then, okay, <clears throat> you didn't mention radiography being an interest or was it because you were being declined so yeah i was being oh, declined okay. to a point where i just wanted to work in a just hospital to get setting. in yes just to get in Yo. which is not nice yeah it is not if you study what you don't like high chances are you will not make it or you will pass but then you will not like a, Be something that you're yes, part that's of that's why you find home. that there are many unfortunately Many healthcare workers that don't portray their true self because they don't like where they are. Mm. Yeah, they don't like where they're working at, and it obviously affects overall patient care. And then it seems as if nurses are rude. Yo, <laughs> I was about to. Uh, you, you know what? <laughs> Yo, Bengs was alive. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, come there. Holy. Yeah, that's the reality we are facing in the country. And that's sad because unfortunately, sometimes you just have to do something that you. Yes. You, you just because yeah, the situation on the table. Yo. But the reality is we have a lot of professional nurses, or let me just say the nursing fraternity in general has a lot of people who do not want to be in the profession Yo. and it hinders patient care. And we are suffering. Not to mention the other challenges that we are facing. Exactly. Yeah. Like your staff shortage, the implementation of the NHI and everything else. But it doesn't come from the heart. Yo. Gooby, most guys. Gooby. It's a lot. There's a lot going on here in South Africa. Yes. There's a lot going on. But then, okay. And Gary, you got into university now. You, you were from high school. Let's talk about the transitioning. How you are first year. You are a first year. Eh, uh, Ghana King. Somebody. Yeah. You were declined yes. so many times. Yeah. What's your thought process? Because I feel like it also it can also affect how you get into something. Definitely. Because you might have fear, Hori. Yes. What yes. if fear that no. now I, I fail? Yeah. Yeah. And I have yeah. buzzer. Yes, yes, yes. What's gonna happen? Yeah. You don't know what's going on. You come as a first year, mm -hmm. you've never been in that environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are on your own. No more mommy and daddy to, you know, take you through what's the, how's the experience of being a first year? And also, okay, yeah, well, how's the experience? Is right. So the experience was nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. I must say. Transitioning from high school to university is not nice. 
You know the prospectors <laughs> likes to show people smiling. <laughs> like, yeah. Of course, it's chowing. Like, yeah, okay. it's chowing. Not That's to it. forget to mention that nursing also has practicals. So we had to go to work while studying as well, from first year up until final year. So we had to manage our time. We had to manage studies. We had to manage a lot of things. And oh. yes, there is funding. So my first test that I wrote... <laughs> My apologies, I got. <laughs> There's always the first There's time. Always that first. There's always the first test. My first test. <laughs> There's always that first test. That first test humbled me. I she got knew. a good thirty-three percent. But thirty-three is not bad. Eh? It's not bad. Yo, I'm, I'm, I've had worse. Remember, I'm being funded. Yo, and it retracts when you fail. It retracts. You know. And the pressure. And the pressure. There's there's so many modules. There's anatomy, physiology, there's sociology, psychology, fundamental nursing sciences. That's like five modules in the first semester. First semester. Yeah, and then five in the second semester as well. Ooh, a lot was going on there. But one thing that I, I, I say that made me to survive in overall nursing, even now, is asking for help. From other people. Yes, because immediately I saw my 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 marks there. Mm. I went straight to the lecturer and I said, Dogotel, I am struggling. Help me out. And she put me literally right next to her hip. And since then, I've been flying. Okay. <laughs> Let's say maybe there's someone who's who who is different, mm-hmm. Anger. Because very, very it is sometimes maybe asking the lecturer is not really the solution. Yeah. What can be the other solutions if lecture vele doesn't help? Because you'd find worry, some lectures vele vele from the start. You can see immediately enter the lecture hall or the class. How right? Unapproachable. Yes. But that is unprofessional. <laughs> the lecturer must not show that. They don't quiet. like. Yeah, yes. That is unprofessional. Okay, but then let's just say <laughs> Random. that's the, the situation. Okay, and the situation is, well... Um, with with me because I was the class rep at the time mm, from okay. second year until final year. Mm. So if there's a certain student that doesn't understand and is shy, they would come to me and then I would relate to the lecturer. The lecturer would relate back to me and I'd relate back to the student or I would go with the student to the lecturer and I'd act as the mediator. But oh. then tr- truth be told, having such a mentality in nursing is not a good idea. You need to learn how to, to shout ask for, yeah, help for help and to maintain interpersonal relations, <clears throat> excuse me, because that's how it is in the hospitals. You don't work in silos. You don't work solo. No, you have to work with people. You have mm. to learn how to communicate with people. Yo. Okay. First year, second year, third year. Aside from, I didn't have any funding problems yeah, yeah. or uh, did you have funding problems no i did not did not, have. No, I did not have okay so please take us through the program yeah, nursing, yeah? Mm-hmm. for from first year second year third year hurry i've heard you mention the practicals yeah yeah do you guys okay work today mm-hmm. tomorrow get it classy the practicals right. should i also stuff. include the modules as well that yeah you can include the modules okay. just to Give reference for those who don't, yeah. So in first year, uh, we do uh, physiology, anatomy, uh, psychology, sociology, and fundamental nursing sciences in the first semester. First semester, okay. This was for, okay, now here's, <laughs> the, here's the catch. Here's the catch. So the curriculum has recently changed. Okay. We were the second last group to do what we call the regulation four to five. Okay. This is where there's like three bars. On the epaulets. I wish I came with my epaulets. Are those yes. the... I've seen badges? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, okay, okay, So okay. now there's the R174. Okay. Where they come out only with midwifery. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. You are speaking in codes, yes, but it's fine. So, so, but it's fine. With the old nursing, let me just mention the old nursing. Mm. I'm, I'm yet to know in detail what... What's the, the yeah. new one? Okay. Then in the second semester, first year, it's the same modules. The only difference is... Sociology is phased out, and then there's a module called communication. Mm. That is like a a foundation for psychiatry or mental health nursing now. Okay. Second year, um, human anatomy is phased out. Okay. So it's the same modules. 
only difference is in second year pharmacology is based in. Oh, okay. okay so it's like the study of medicine. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, and then in third year, now this is where things get interesting. And I would dwell deep into second year, second semester, no module. Same as the first. Oh, first oh okay. Year, There's semester. nothing yeah. new. Yeah, no, no much changes there. Okay. Third year, things get interesting. So now we deal with um uh, modules that are related to the hospital setting, like oh, one. Yeah. So you learn how to work now. in yeah, you will now learn how to work in different departments, you know, like you theater, surgery wards, medical wards, orthopedic, pediatrics, um, labor ward. So then in third year, that's where the course starts. So we also do midwifery there. So there's what we call medical surgical nursing, midwifery, and community nursing. So those are... Uh, uh, you have to do all those three? Yeah, or? but then they are divided into oh, certain okay, modules. Okay. So the lecturers know how to structure it out so that it starts from the foundation going up. And then okay. in final year... It's uh, psychiatry, community health as well, and management, as well as research. First semester. First and second semester. Oh, okay. So it's now it's just cut. So third and fourth year is just the throw in of everything. Everything. Oh. The way it's structured, the lecturers know how to put it out. There. So it's a four-year program. It's a four-year honors program. Okay, it has honors. Yeah, okay. The research thing. Mm. Yeah. And then the practicals? So the practicals, this is how they work. First year at the time, no sure about now. Okay. At the time, they would, would work uh, Fridays and Saturdays. So Friday would attend from 7 up until 12. Mm. And they then go all the way to a certain uh, institution or hospital in Johannesburg and work from 1 until 7. Yo. Saturdays work for 12 hours. So and no breaks? No, no breaks at all. That's how chaotic it was. But I want to know, because we find that there's sometimes, um, I can only speak for my own uh, course, mm -hmm. we don't have practicals. Yeah. yeah first, yeah. second, for the new one. Yes. First, second, third, you just go to school mm -hmm. until. Mm -hmm. until yeah. Are they helpful? Like they are practicals are very helpful work. Integrated learning is very, very critical, especially in health, because mm -hmm. when you find yourself going to a hospital setting, not knowing what to do, not knowing what, for example, a, a uh, blood pressure machine mm -hmm. or a mere thermometer to measure uh, your temperature. Your temper, yeah. If you don't know that you are practically nothing. So it assists in first, although it gets a lot, it is a lot of training. It's training. It is frustrating. It is tiring, but it is necessary. You c cannot learn um, all that you've learned in the four years in your first year of and working, not go to unfortunately. That's the reality, and that is what I realized while I was already in working in the working, workforce. Yeah. That, you know what, in as much as we felt like the lecturers were giving us a lot of pressure, when we get into the workforce, you are overseeing a ward. You are overseeing people. You are overseeing patients. Mm. So they do not have time to teach you what all those things. Oh, no, okay, no, no. okay. You already you must. You have, have already adapted to yes, the environment. Yes, yes, okay, yes. but that's good. It's good, but it's not good. So the way it was structured, there was just a lot of content. Okay, the way the program was. Yes, okay, yes. okay. And hence, one of the reasons why it was changed. Oh, yeah. The main reason was there was a lot of content to cover and a lot of hours to cover because there were 4,000 hours that you had to accumulate in the four years. So that's why, uh, yeah, 4,000 4, hours. So as I was explaining the hours, mm -hmm. every recess you work 40 hours per week, mm -hmm. every recess. And then you only get like one week off for the whole year. Second year, uh, Fridays and Saturdays you would work 12 hours, 12 hours, and then recess 40 hours. Third year, you'd work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, yeah. this is where it gets chaotic. During school and then in recess, you work your 40 hours. Final year, you only go to class once a week. Then for the rest of the week, you're working. So this is how... So it, they, they want to make sure those 4,000... And you will complete those hours. Otherwise, you will not be registered with the South African Nursing Council. Okay, so after... You mean undergraduate once... Oh, Honors, once you graduate, you are registered. Yes, yes, when you comply with when the you co Oh, yes. so the people don't very, very rich. You do not go into the workforce until you complete your hours. 
And that's one thing. That so how do you not of. You make sure you go to work. Oh, when, there's people who don't go to work. Yes, there's people who miss work. And unfortunately, catches up with them because Yo. in the long run, you get delayed in your registration and then you start your community service. Late. Just, yeah. Yeah, community service is that one year where you work fully for the community without undergoing hey. any studies. But you do get paid oh, you as, do get as paid. a professional. Yeah. It's only man- money that we want. <laughs> Only money that she wants. <laughs> Only money that yeah. can motivate me. Yeah. So 4,000 hours, you must. And we, we thought it was a dream when you started. Mm. But by the time we you You will be able to... to yeah. Come, uh, yeah. Okay. When you miss work and you have a reason, you notify your lecturers. Your lecturers will make arrangements so that you pay back the hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's So let's <laughs> say for some reason, eh? maybe you get sick. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at me. Reasonable, maybe reasons. Okay. To for you to miss work, mm-hmm. and girl, we don't know. Let's say you miss the the the, you don't get to complete the four thousand hours. What do you then do? What's do you, the base? So basically, your registration will be extended. So it will take a while for you to start community service. Community service starts in January mm-hmm. of a certain year, but yours might start maybe either Feb, March. Or even June. June is cut off. So it can extend all the way to June and then you'll complete in the following year of June. Yeah. It's Are you well. given a hospital where you're gonna work? Yeah, at? so with, oh, with okay. university students, I'm I'm not sure about colleges. So okay. Please the, the viewers should bear with me. I'm speaking from a university. University, okay. So with regards to that, um there is what we call the ICSP. I'm forgetting the, the, ah, it's, the... It's okay, my sister. Yeah, so that's the website where people choose the preferred... Oh, hospitals. you choose. Yes, so it's five hospitals or clinics, whatever. And then based on the need that the institutions have, you uh, you will be chosen for that. Some oh. people cho- are chosen by their first option, some by their fifth. Some don't even get chosen at all. They just randomly... Uh, put based on or oh, they randomly put yeah, you based on the oh, I thought <coughs> maybe, of the hospital. I thought same maybe. as with medical doctors as well. Oh. They also choose institutions on that particular website. So it's for all healthcare workers, the ICSP. Mm, I thought maybe you don't get chosen and you have to stay at home. Or nah, something. Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, yo, another nah. interview. No. Okay. So so with that, that's where the other group of, of nurses are currently undergoing. Oh. The R one seven ones. Those are the, uh, that are in the colleges. So what I know is they have to go and uh, interviews. They have to do certain psychometric tests. But I'm not quite sure sure hundred percent on how they do it. Okay. Yeah, but they I I I have some certain knowledge on that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So now the, the the um the current cohort of nurses. So there are professional nurses and midwives that are uh, produced by universities, mm-hmm. and then the colleges produce general nurses. Okay. Yeah. So that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we spoke about practicals, mm-hmm. the four-year program. Now, after getting your B uh, Bachelor of Honors, ne mm-hmm. your honors degree what's then you said community, community service, service for yes. one year yes one year. and then after community service <laughs> excuse me i'm coming down with a ah, you are, you're killing us today shem <laughs> excuse me it's okay <laughs> we we understand <laughs> it's yes. a free grant yeah. yeah yeah it's a free country yeah so after community kanaking service. yeah service after service yeah. what happens so after community service, it's the uh, 12 months uh, probation where you basically work for institution. You get paid for it. <clears throat> but Do you have to apply for it or you? No, no, no. you no. based? Yeah, you based. Okay. okay, by the university? Uh, By the system, by ICSP. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. the ICSP puts you there and then SANC registers you as a community service professional nurse. Wow. And then after that, you are registered as a full professional nurse or registered nurse. Okay. So then <clears throat> shortly afterwards, uh, you can decide if you want to go back to school to do your generalized master's in nursing, or now 
you had an additional two years to do a speciality. Oh, you where you specialize? Yes, we specialize. We can do either advanced midwifery or advanced mental health or primary health care. There's a lot of specialties yeah, yeah. that are offered. Yeah, <clears throat> that's how one goes about it. So with me, immediately after doing my community service, I did not want to talk about this. You are gonna talk about it, yeah, my sister. but it, but it, it seems we need like to know why. When I when are you a different kind of breed? <laughs> <laughs> a okay, now now we, yeah now even this thing is starting it's, to yeah, it it shows that I'm not meant to speak about. It. <laughs> so uh, after community service, mm. during community service, I got bored. I got bored because you know when one is so used to the pressure of doing studies and working at okay. the same time, mm. the whole four years. So now I got bored with just working. Then I decided to you know further my studies. So then I applied for masters mm. at I a see. certain institution <laughs> at a certain institution in Johannesburg. Props to you. Props to you. <laughs> Thank like, you. Thank props you. to you. Some of us we end there by degree. <laughs> no, no further, no further. I, no further, no further uh, qualification. No, sorry, my sister. Yeah, That's so, why we we are here now. <laughs> No further, we are done. Oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's the reason why I I I decided to decide for my So okay. then after this one, I am planning on specializing. Okay. Yes, and then after specializing, we'll see how it goes. Okay. We'll just go with the flow. One more question. Yeah. This specializing thing mm-hmm. you mentioned, you kind of think you are still based, or now you you are on your own. So you can still be based at the hospital you are at. Oh, okay. Or after community service, you have the option to go to another institution. Okay. It's depending on if you have the resources or the capacity to move around okay. in different institutions. Okay. So now the catch is with the speciality, you have to work in that certain uh, department for two years, mm. inclusive of community service, so that you're given... Um, enough exposure and coverage and more knowledge on that speciality as oh. you go. And that's how you 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 become a specialized a, person or a specialist nurse. Yeah. Yeah. My sister. My sister. It's a, a lot. It's a lot. I can't. Me, I feel like three years is enough. After three years, I'm not even concerned about our honors, masters. It's done. It's done. It's done. I've saved my purpose. Even God knows for my child. You went to varsity at least. There's so much you can do, ne? And like I I served my purpose by getting my metric. Mind you, now you're working, ne? Yes, I'm working. Any challenges? A lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. Um, I work in a very busy hospital. Mm. Uh, where the average patient ratio is one nurse per 60 people, Yo. which is a not lot. conducive at all. At all. It's not conducive. Um, <clears throat> because the normal nurse patient ratio should be at least one nurse per 12 patients. So that's like <clears throat> four times more. Mm. Yeah, it's chaotic. It's chaotic. Um, and with the NHI, the National Health Insurance, coming mm. into play, Eesh. I don't know. It's now the act. It's no longer the bill because the president signed it in just before the election. So oh. now it's the law. It's the law now. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. It's a it's must. A, it's a must. It's a 97 long document which stipulates mm. how healthcare is going to be decentralized and made uh, made to be equal amongst all South Africans, irrespective of their background, race, financial well-being, and all of that. Of which I must say, it's going to be quite a challenge because uh, there are certain sectors like the private sector. It is all for generating income. And we know that the government sector is for serving the people free of charge. Yeah. So when you think of someone that is used to the public sector going into private with the impression that they will not pay, for medical fees in private. And then the one that is in private is uh, is under the impression that they will get the same care in public. Yo. It's going to be a very interesting chaos. transition. A very interesting transition. I don't want to call it chaos, but a very interesting transition. Ooh. Yeah. And then, okay, I want to understand, Hori, the practicals. Mm-hmm. Is it the same thing or it's more like 
or like it's a different kind of vibe, but it's it's similar. So each institution has its own way of running oh. things. Like they have certain protocols, but overall nursing, how nursing is nursing, okay. is universal. Okay. So a protocol can be done differently, but taking a temperature, uh, putting a thermometer for three minutes, that is standardized. Is oh, international. Okay. Putting it under your armpit or underneath your tongue, wherever the body generates heat, that is standardized. But each institution has its own protocol. Mm. Yeah. I wish we could get into more things, Hore. Yeah, you know, we don't have time. We don't. And yo, and it was getting interesting yeah. because I was going to ask Hore. I was going to ask a lot of things, but it's fine. It's fine. There's still another, you know, we can still do another part two. Of course, if the viewers if, want it, why not? Why not, yeah. you know? Yeah. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you are very... Yeah. I've learned a lot. Thank you. I wish maybe I'm thinking Horish. Maybe you shouldn't have dropped out, you know. Maybe you should have I but no. It's not my I don't want to be like the people you work with who are not really passionate about nursing because I feel like my patient's tolerance is not Yeah. Yeah. So I easily get frustrated. <laughs> So imagine you're working with people and you easily get frustrated. Yeah. It's not yeah, a good it's not, it's it's not, not a good all. thing. But we can any advice for the upcoming uh should I look at the camera? I'm a shy person. No. <laughs> I'm you, shy. You can no, look. No, I'll look at you. No, 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 no. You no. can look at me. I'll maintain for like upcoming uh, yes, professional yes, nurses. Yes. So always ask for help. Yes. Have a mentor. Mm. It should flourish in the nursing profession. There's a lot of opportunities. You can be anything you want to be within nursing. Mm. Literally anything mm. you want to be in nursing. You can be an educator, researcher, military nurse. There's a lot that one can do in nursing. A lot. And you can get awards as well. You can be a Golden Key member. You can be a SIG member. Hey! Nursing Now member. We didn't even U21 get to Golden Key member. member. Yeah, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. a story for another day. Nah. Yeah, it's a story for another day. And you can get money from doing well. Married bursaries. From, from the institution. Passing. Yes, from the institution. Oh, passing. that's why you guys are busy getting these things. You don't <laughs> tell us these things. There's money in this thing. Hi, Bo. There's money. Imagine I could have gotten so many, so much money. Then no, what would I do with 9, that 9,000 per year. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Actually, it's actually, it's a lot. Yeah. Because it's something that doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And... It's just an award for yes, getting an award. Yes, yes. So that's a lot of money. That means the institution has money <laughs> to give. So you guys better be getting those <laughs> di- distinctions. You better. Be. I will not answer on behalf of the institution. <laughs> no, I mean like they need to get those distinctions so that they Definitely. can get the money. Definitely. Nine thousand is a lot, guys. You can do a lot with nine thousand. Yeah, yeah. No, as a student. As a student. As a student. So this is the end of the interview. So if you guys also want to be featured on this podcast, you can send us an email at taskela1 at gmail.com. And please do engage with us and also Mapaseka's social media handles. You can find her on social media. You on Instagram? I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, Facebook. I'm on Twitter, I'm hey. on Telegram. All of them. <laughs> And she's a professional nurse. <laughs> so you, you see, you can still be, you, you can still have fun yeah. and, you know, do your work. <laughs> so I'll put in your social media handle so that anytime, any questions they have, if they want a mentor, yeah, who knows, yeah, yeah. they can contact you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.